The weather widget is a relatively simple widget and a good place to start in our widget overview video series because it should be fairly familiar to the typical Vantage system user through their experience with smartphones. With the weather widget, the user can see current conditions and seven-day forecasts for cities worldwide on their Inwall Equinox 73 and their smartphones and tablets running the Vantage Equinox app. From the dashboard, we see current conditions of the primary location. We'll see in a moment how to change the primary location. Discovery dots at the top right corner navigate to the second level of the widget. This is a consistent affordance across all Equinox widgets. At the second level, we get a view of current conditions and seven-day forecast for the last viewed location. To see other locations, simply swipe left or right. Now notice the tags along the sides indicating next and previous locations. No tag means it's the end of the list. Rather than swiping through a long list, there is a shortcut to the location list accessed by tapping the name of the currently viewed location. Notice the right arrow to the right, the down arrow to the right of the name suggesting this affordance. Here, current conditions of all locations can be viewed. If the list is longer than can be viewed on a single page, swipe to see more. To return, tap outside of the central ribbon. To view another location, tap it. To edit locations, tap the edit icon at the top right of the screen. In the editing level, we can add, delete, and hide locations and change the order of the location list. To add a location, tap the plus sign at the top right of the screen. Enter the location and the weather service will attempt to validate that location. If the enter location does not disappear, it was unable to validate. Check your spelling. You can also enter a zip code of US cities. Once the location list appears, the entered location has been validated and you will find the newly added location at the bottom of the list. To delete a location, tap the tab icon to the right of the location. If you do delete it, notice that a restore icon appears allowing you to undo the delete. If you do not restore the location and leave the edit page, it will be deleted permanently from this and all profiles. Notice that some locations have a lock icon instead of a tab icon. These cannot be edited. These are locations that were entered into the project file from within Design Center. While not editable, they can be hidden from any profile. To hide or show a location, click anywhere on the button between the name and the check mark. An unchecked check mark means it is hidden. Showing or hiding a location applies only to the current profile. To rearrange the order of the location list, press the positioning icon to the left of the location and drag and drop it to the position that you desire in the list. The order of the list determines the order in which the locations will be viewed from the second level. The location in the first position in the list will be the primary location, the one viewed from the dashboard level. To exit the edit mode, tap the up arrow at the right, top right of the screen. We'll take a moment to observe the results of our edits. If we press the uh, name of the current location, we can see the list. We see that Salt Lake is in the first position because of our moving it to that location. We see that Miami and Chicago are no longer on our list. We see that Bozeman now is. If we go to the edit level, we see that Miami is not showing up because it's simply hidden. Chicago is gone because we deleted it. Now, of course, at some point, we are going to want to leave the second level of the weather widget in order to take advantage of all the powerful control widgets within the Equinox interface. So we're going to press the Home button to return to the dashboard view. On the Equinox 73, this is a hard button at the bottom left of the device. On the app, it is a soft, soft button at the top left of the screen. Now, when we are back at the dashboard layer, notice that the primary location has changed to Salt Lake City as per our editing.
Any edits we have made to the weather widget within a profile do not change what other profiles will see, with the exception of deleted locations. I made all these changes within his profile. If I now view her profile, nothing has changed. The Washington is still the primary location. The locations I added are viewable, but not until we select them in the list. Now, profile-specific options that affect the weather widget include language, Celsius versus Fahrenheit, and 24 versus 12-hour clock. If we click on the profile name, it displays while we're in the dashboard view, then we select Settings. Then, under Options, we can change the language, 24-hour clock, Celsius. Any of the changes that we make will cause the app to reset in order to apply them. While it is a great feature that the user can add any city of interest worldwide, if the Vantage Integrator has a list of cities known to be of interest to the homeowner, they can be added to the system quite quickly from within Design Center. Within the programming view, if we right-click on a category, then we can add weather. We simply change its name and its location. The caveat when doing this is that there is no immediate validation of the location. So if you misspelled or used, for example, London, England instead of London, United Kingdom, you won't know of the error until the file is loaded and the location doesn't show any data. If you contact Vantage Support, you can get a library of verified locations that you can add by simply dragging and dropping into the project. Locations added to the file in this location show up in the location list, as we have seen before, with a lock icon so that a user cannot edit them. Because of the vertical orientation of the phone-based app, there are just a couple of differences in the way it operates in the second level view. Each location shows the seven-day forecast, but not the current condition data. There are no side-of-screen tags indicating the previous and next locations, but instead there's a position bar at the bottom of the screen. We hope you have benefited from this overview of the Vantage Equinox weather widget. Now watch for more videos in this series to cover the remaining Equinox widgets.